Well, good morning, YouTube. Today is Turkey Day. I know it's not really Turkey Day. There's a whole lot more meaning to it than that. But uh, we got some family coming over today. I'm trying to get some things done here around the house. I don't anticipate that this will be a long video. So I really just wanted to reach out and say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. But as I said, we've got some family coming over. Um, my mom should be here in about two hours. Alyssa's mom is already here. My Uncle Dean's coming over. I think some of Zach's family's coming over. So it's going to get pretty crowded around here. And I uh, spent most of yesterday cleaning up the yard. Now I didn't film any of that stuff because just blowing leaves around, running the blower. Remember, I live in the Nantahala National Forest. And as you can see, we are surrounded by forest. And because it's fall time, most of the trees have dropped their foliage. They're not completely bare, but uh, the leaves were thick. I mean, we probably had three and four inches thick of leaves around a lot of the buildings and whatnot. So I try to clean this stuff up once a year just so it doesn't sit up against the buildings and rot the buildings because of the moisture that it holds. Man, the leaves in this section were so thick that even with the backpack blower, the pile was getting so big that I couldn't get it to blow. So some of you say just kind of blew to the other side of the little creek here. And uh, there's a big section over here where it just kind of piled up, but it's off of the area that I like to keep cleared. There comes a point where I just have to say that's far enough because again, I live in a forest. I can keep blowing and blowing and blowing and just keep pulling more leaves. So I did these in some smaller piles. And I lit them on fire for a little bit yesterday, but they went out and I'm going to light them again today. But you can kind of see how clear this area is here. There's all the leaves over that way that I blew that direction yesterday, but it keeps this area nice and clean. All right, guys, well, I got those going. Sometimes it's a little tricky keeping these fires going because this is a very shady part of the property and some of these leaves are still a little bit damp, although we haven't had any rain in about a week. So because we got so many people coming over today, I need to move a couple vehicles around, make room for people to park. As it is, it already looks like a used car lot around here because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I don't know, we got like 10 vehicles on property. There's going to be more coming, so let me get to that. Well, guys, I am not going to bore you with yard work and moving cars. I got most of that done. Today's Thanksgiving. It's about being thankful for the things in your life. So I'm going to go change my clothes, put something decent on. My mom just arrived, and we'll talk a little bit more about the things I'm grateful for. Well, guys, one of the first things that I'm thankful for is family. Family is very, very important in my book. You know, Katie and I are blessed that this property we bought a few years ago, it's multiple houses on it. So our children and our grandchildren all live here with us together, basically, in their own homes, but uh, still on property so that we get to see them all the time. Together, we have extended family all over the United States, but most of our immediate family is right here. My mom only lives about two hours away, so she always comes over for the holidays. Hey, but D, don't drink the dirty water. I'm also very thankful for business, our business particularly. Uh, you know, I know I put a lot of hard work into it, but over the last couple of years, we have gone through quite the growth and uh, I'm very thankful for that. Financially, we're not rich by any means, but financially it has put us in a better spot than we've ever been in our lives. Um, luckily, I've made some good decisions. Uh, I should say we. I really don't make any decisions without my wife. Luckily, we have made some good business decisions. 
that have definitely shown benefit. So I'm thankful that I had the foresight to make those good decisions. Um, and I'm thankful that I've had my wife by my side in helping me run this business. Because sometimes you just can't do it alone. I'm also thankful for veterans. I know Veterans Day was just a couple days ago, or a couple weeks ago, whatever it was. But, uh, you know, without those people that dedicate their lives, or at least a portion of their lives, to defending this country and doing what needs to be done to maintain the freedom that we all enjoy, I think sometimes goes unnoticed. But I, personally, am very thankful for that. I know that it may also sound cliche, and I wouldn't have thought this a few years ago, but now that I'm understanding the industry a little bit better, I'm very thankful for truck drivers. Uh, they keep this country going, and there's a lot of them that aren't home on the holidays, like today, to be with their family, because they're sitting in a truck stop somewhere, or they're making a delivery, or they're getting loaded, so that you and I and everybody else in the world can have what we need to survive. Remember, if you bought it, a truck driver delivered it. So I'm definitely thankful for truck drivers because without them, America would stop moving. You know, there's a lot of other things that I'm sure I'm thankful for. But as I sit here with the camera in my face, sometimes it's hard to remember all of the things that I would like to say. So if I didn't mention it, it doesn't mean I'm not thankful. It just means I didn't mention it. But before we go, the one last thing I want to say that I'm thankful for is you. All of you that are watching this. You know, it's been one year since I started this YouTube channel. I posted my very first video Thanksgiving weekend of 2020. Coming out of that summer of uh, Corona, I finally found the motivation to start doing this, thinking that nobody's going to care. And it was probably going to be a waste of my time. And I couldn't have been more wrong. Now, I know that my home videos don't get the same kind of views that the rally videos get. And that's okay. But I also know that those of you that are watching these videos when I'm not at rally are my true supporters, the people that really, really get it. And I'm super thankful for all of you because let's face it, without you, this would be pointless. And uh, I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it. And because of that, I'm gonna continue doing it. I'm actually beginning to really enjoy doing it myself, where at first it was more of a tedious task because I didn't know what I was doing. But the more comfortable I get with it, the more fun it becomes. Well guys, we are still waiting on a few more family members to come so that we can have our Thanksgiving celebration. As you saw in that clip a moment ago, a lot of the family sitting around our dining room table playing, I think a game of Yahtzee at the moment. I'm not much of a Yahtzee enthusiast. So I figured I'd come out here and do this instead. But we're gonna go ahead and close this video because I wanna get this posted today so that you guys aren't watching a video tomorrow on Happy Thanksgiving. So for now, we're gonna end it here. And once again, I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. And until the next time I see you, you can keep those engines running.